Okay. <laughs> Here's me tapping, tapping this paper in time lapse. So, ultimately, this is just cardboard paper-ish, and I'm recreating my origami paper, origami paper bag, with a different material this time to see if the overall product is the same or better with uh, a tougher material because the origami is just normal origami paper and this is essentially harder paper. I I forgot what it's called. Kind of. Oh well, it's just, it's just harder, tougher. Anyway, so in the origami video, I use uh, something that's already ready made. Squ already square shaped and um, since it's origami obviously some most of the instru most most instructions are for squared paper something like that <laughs> so I have to make sure my own square paper from this rectangle paper and since squares are just you know two triangles stick together I just um, made my own triangles and cut out the remainder it doesn't matter if the creases if there's creases in the thing because I need those creases later so it's just basically cutting time anyway so there's my sitter the, the tool that I really don't want to use because I don't trust my abilities in cutting paper then I realized, oh my gosh, I have a tool to cut paper easy you're with. Bam! Look at that! It's a... I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, my mom uses it for making letters and stuff. I just know there's a slider here that can make my job way easier. And I wish I remember this back when I was making the template where I had to cut a lot of pieces. But <laughs> I get I wasn't think I had... I wasn't thinking ahead and that's on my that's that's my fault basically so here's me lining up lining it up to the slider and voila it's so easy oh it's it's so easy oh well I got my square done next up it's the making the tree folds and uh, it's harder to measure it this time because the size doesn't fall on an exact measurement it's more precise and I don't want to bring out my calculator, so I am winging the trifold. Like how I'm basically winging every project I'm doing right now. Well, I'm okay with winging with I'm okay with winging the paper bag thing because, as I mentioned, I'm not supposed to put too much thought into it. So in the tic tac toe design, it makes squares on a three by three grid. And that's essentially how I fold in the corners. So, to cut time, I just need to make a trifold on one side of the paper and then fold in those corners, which supposedly makes a perfect equilateral triangle, which is half a square, and that's the basis of what I'm gonna use for the um, for the trifold. Okay, here, I'm done with the trifold, squishing it a lot. Making sure they align, and then I for fold in the corners of the paper. So I have one side of a square, and then the other side of the square. It's like life hacks, or something. Like I I I like to think this is a life hack. Anyway, um, as I'm folding the paper, I realize how hard it is. For this material to fold in general so I decide once I finish with the trifold I should probably cut this it's easier to leave it leave those corners in in an origami paper because that paper is really thin but for this one it's really really thick I'm really having a hard time making the second trifold so I just I barely folded it so that means back to the trusty Paper slider cutty machiney thingy. Um, I lined it up with a pencil so I can see the <laughs> I can see the fold clearly. Anyway, um, lining it up and then shroop, boom, finished. 
then repeating the process a lot. Loop. <laughs> There, I got in my creases and then just doing the remaining folds that's left. Well, actually, there's nothing left because I did all those remaining folds just making the square in the first place. So, this is the part where I had trouble in because, like I mentioned before, the paper is thicker. So, forming the bag was a bit of a trial than making it with an origami paper. So I have to be careful this time because I don't want too much crumples into this paper bag. But ultimately, there I reach the I reach the shape, and then I folded the top so it looks more neat and finished. Um, again, it doesn't look much like a paper bag, but you can compart compartmentalize it a bit if you open it in certain ways. I'm just testing out this technique with a different material, but it looks nice. 